Good morning. We're going to show you how to use the Hartford plaster hook. This is an original. We have the new hooks down at the shop, but we'll show you how this old tool from 1927 and earlier can still be effective. Again, the way to use this tool is you have a sharpened edge on the top with a long span. One side is long with a sharpened bottom, one side is short with a blunt edge. And depending on what you're pulling, whether it's sheetrock, gypsum board, plaster and lath, one side may become handier than the other or based on your access as well. The basic principle of using this tool is you bury it into your ceiling in a couple of strokes and then you turn it. You start with the footprint of the head. It's going to be a very narrow line. You get the head in and then you turn it. And now your footprint goes to that spin and you pull it down. That's your purchase point. And from there, you overhaul as you normally would. We'll demonstrate it in this bathroom here. Okay, so we're in a bathroom here with sheetrock. So we're going to start pulling the ceilings over here. So again, if you take your tool, you carry the head in, you turn it. That's your purchase point. If I had a Halligan hook, I'd be making small holes until I got that wide purchase point. There's a stud, so whether you want to use the short side or the long side, you take the head, you put it in, start pulling it down. Sea rock. Sea rock is a pain in the ass to pull down, we all know that. But because the head has a long span on one side, it's very easy to get it to break. Or if you wanted to, you've seen in some videos where guys will punch and knock out areas of do sheetrock in one pull. If you use the bottom edge, you're going to be pushing holes over and over, but because this has a sharpened head and a long span, all you have to do is cut. Now we're going to show how to use the plaster hook against walls. Traditionally you'd use your hand tools for the walls, your flathead axe, pick head, or your halligan. But we'll show you can still use it for walls. And again, this is sheetrock designed for plaster and lap. It can be used for anything. So a halligan hook you would have to bury it straight in to get a good purchase point. But because the head comes down at an angle, you just have to slice it into the wall. Again, I don't have the span to go straight in and turn, but I have a sharp end and I have a blunt end. So all you got to do is cutting in. Now I have the blunt end. If I stuck in the head and I use a sharpened end, it'll pull right through pretty easily. Get the tool head in, go to the blunt side. And now I can take pieces off pretty easily. Like we had said before, if you want to make more cuts and take more pieces off, because the head is sharpened and round, Yep. Alright, I'm just going to finish clearing the room. 